Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a rather massive Goodwill outlet haul because it's actually three trips worth of stuff. And I did that because as you may or may not know, I just graduated from university and I do have like a small part-time job. It's like really small, actually like my internship that I had ended up like hiring me. And um, so like I do have that, but for the most part, I decided to kind of just like resell full time this summer. And I did that for like multiple reasons, like one of them, cause like I have a few like travel plans, like nothing big, but I didn't want to like start a full time job and then be like, hey, I need like these three weeks off. Uh, but then also um, it's not certain, but there's a high probability that in the fall, I'll be going back to school for like an intensive one year, like massage therapy program. And so I kind of wanted to like set myself up and like grow my like reselling business um, this summer. So hopefully while I'm in that program, like I can get like as much revenue out of reselling it as possible. And so like in the past, you know, as you know, like this channel is named Posh Athletica because, you know, it's named after my Poshmark closet that's called Posh Athletica, you know, curated closet only sell like activewear on there. And so that was kind of like my main reselling account. Um, but, you know, it's just like not feasible for me to like get as much like revenue as possible, like only selling activewear just because, you know, it's hard to source for that especially since like i didn't just sell activewear it's you know just like luxury and trendy activewear so obviously like i have already like i sell other stuff on like you know as you know non-activewear on like ebay i have another poshmark closet and mercari those are kind of like my main platforms and then occasionally you know also like curtsy kittison and depop so you know i took these trips to the goodwill outlet to like get like hopefully like get like a ton of inventory to list over there and so like i'm here in san diego and so our outlet operates very differently than any other outlet. And so basically the pricing is not per pound, but it's like a flat rate. So like you can get up to 35 pounds. So zero pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds, all the way up to 35 pounds. Uh, no matter how many pounds you get, you're paying $19 for everything. And then, um, so yeah, but you only have like two hours to shop. And like the catch is like the reason why it's like so cheap is because, um, like they don't rotate the bins like they have like they have two sales a day and the first sale is a bit more expensive than what i just described and like that sale goes on for two hours and then whatever they didn't sell during that sale um uh, then you know they sell during the second sale where it's you know 19 dollars for up to 35 pounds so if you get 35 pounds that breaks down to like 55 cents a pound which is super cheap but like i said they don't rotate the bins and everything has already been picked over and um so like I'm not able to find 35 pounds of stuff that I want to sell all myself. So I end up sent like, cause you know, I might as well get 35 pounds. Cause like, I'm not, you're not going to be paying anymore. It's that flat rate. Um, so you'll see that a lot of the stuff, like I'll probably be sending to thread up or taking to like local consignment store just cause like, I don't want to sell it myself, but I might as well like throw it in, you know? Um, so yeah, for the most part, like when I should, if I, I'll try to tell you like what I'm going to do with each item. But for the most part, you know, if I'm selling it myself, I'll list it on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And then, um, you know, I'll let you know maybe if I'm sending it to ThreadUp or whatever, for, or if I'm planning on listing it like on Depop or Curtsy or something. Uh, but yes, so if you do enjoy reseller related content, uh, you can consider subscribing to this channel because there will be a lot more content coming soon. So if you do have any like suggestions or any videos you want to see, uh, you can always leave them in the comments or like DM me on Instagram. Um, so yeah, I'm totally open, but let's just get started. I have everything organized by like trip. So you kind of see like what I got in each trip, um, but none of it has been washed yet. So this first trip, I actually wasn't even able to find 35 pounds. I only got like 20 something pounds. Um, but yeah, actually this first thing is the most exciting. They are a pair of leggings actually, but they're from Johnny Was, which is pretty exciting. And they have this embroidery on them, which is super nice, all intact. Um, so yeah, these are really nice. Obviously I will be selling those myself. And then next up is something so cute. It's like this little baby thing. So like, there's like no kids in my family. So like, I'm really bad with like terminology when it comes to kids clothes, but it's just like a sack. <laughs> like there's no legs. It's just like a sack. And I'm planning on like selling at a, like pop-up kids consignment store like in the fall. So um, maybe some kids stuff, if it's worth my time, I'll list it myself. 
otherwise I'm just stashing it away to like sell at that sale um but yeah next up are some bike shorts like they have like the padding bike shirts they're from pearl izumi they're a size medium so i'll list those myself and then this is another little kids item it's like a snow suit thing i just thought it was really cute it's from baby gap it's a size newborn um it's, it's it was like too cute to pass up on um and then next this is a uh I think it's oh it's 30 or it's only 15% linen but a linen blend like blazer I think I'll send this to thread up just because like linen silk like wool stuffed as well over on thread up for me um so yeah next up this is just a really thin little like urban outfitters long sleeve striped um I don't think I'll sell that myself I'll probably like end up taking that to um, maybe Buffalo Exchange. So um, yeah, and if you are curious about like me like taking stuff to buy sell trade stores, I did just post like two videos, like one of me taking stuff to Buffalo Exchange and one of me taking stuff to Plato's Closet. And I gave a breakdown of my payout and everything if you wanna check that out. But next up is this Ted Baker, I think it's 100% silk um, little tank top. I think maybe, yeah, there was like some dirt smudges on it but I think it was just from like being at the bin so I'll see if I could get that out um maybe with some like dawn or something um but yeah um let's see next this is a J McLaughlin um like mock neck maybe turtleneck uh sweater so yeah maybe not the season for it but I'll still list it myself and then these were some just cotton on like purple shorts and i think i'll actually take these to buffalo exchange um that was kind of what i had in mind with those um because it, it's kind of like a trendy thing right now that style um and next up is a lucky brand hoodie um lucky brand actually does well for me on thread up so i think i will send this over there i actually have like two thread up boxes going right now one is like you know fall winter stuff and then one is like spring summer stuff so like that i'll throw in my fall winter box and i'll send it like later just because um you know they only thread up only has your put stuff on the site for like a limited time so it's kind of like not really the smartest thing if i'm like to send winter stuff right now so um yeah but next is this like little madewell shirt i think i'm just gonna take this to the consignment store because mine like they like madewell and so yeah, it's a, it seems like a kind of dated style for me to sell myself. So I think I'll just send that over to them. Um, next, these are some Pilcrow in the letterpress pants. Um, so these, I'm not sure if I'll sell them myself. Um, I don't know, I'll look into comps and maybe I'll sell them myself. If not, I'll take them to my local consignment store because obviously they love anthropology and stuff. Um, this is a cute skirt. It's actually from Loft. And um, I think I'll take this to the consignment store. It's super cute. So um, I think I'll, like I probably get the same amount basically on thread up or taking it to the, to the consignment store. But if I take it to the consignment store, my payout will be more instant, you know, because actually on thread up, like I don't pay for expedited processing. Like I honestly don't really care that much about my thread up stuff. Like I don't really like keep tabs on it too well, just cause you know, like I said, like this stuff, I'm not really like, like I'm kind of, I'm, I'm not getting it for free, but like kind of, you know? So yeah, but next up is this blazer. I believe this is a linen, like has some linen. Yeah, 55% linen. And it's actually new with tags uh from the brand access uh never heard of it size large um it was actually at a goodwill store they're trying to sell it for $19.99 and goodwills here actually never have sales like no half off sales no dollar days no nothing so of course no one wanted to buy that for $20 um so yeah like sometimes like when i'm at the la outlet if it has a goodwill tag on it it's kind of a red flag because obviously like no one wanted it and like the goodwills in la they have half off sales they have dollar 99 days but here like they never have sales so if something has a goodwill tag on it normally it just means they just priced it way too high <laughs> um but next up is actually in an eileen fisher dress i yeah it's a dress it's long knit dress it's like 
three fourth sleeves. I will list that myself. Um, and then like this day, this day I went, I was kind of struggling. So like I ended up throwing this in. It's a 100% wool coat from J. Crew. It is like old, <laughs> um, but yeah, 100% wool though. So it's a nice color. So yeah, I thought I would just throw it in because why not? Um, let's see, this is a sundry uh like pullover it has like a oh no it's a cardigan <laughs> uh yeah just a cardigan super soft um and then oh this is so cute i don't even know what the heck this is if it's vintage or not it's like a baby thing i don't know it has this embroidery i don't even know what that is <laughs> to be honest i just it was cute and i threw it in um but oh this was exciting i have to like soak this though i think um it was a bit dingy um but it's from the brand michi which is a super expensive like luxury activewear um line and so this is a top it has like ruched sides so like personally like based off style like not really feeling it too much but obviously I picked it up because of brand and you know it was as a bin so why not so i'll see i i like the only other time i found michi it was like a tank top and it sold really fast and it was like just a tank top but um yeah that was exciting like i said and then next these are just a pair of cold water creek um like uh i guess like they're kind of like corduroy ish pants but uh yeah obviously sending to thread up they're in great condition and i thought like because of the fabric the texture maybe someone would want it oh um, this is a tommy bahama silk button down shirt so i will list this myself i've actually never tried selling Tommy Bahama before um and then these are another pair of Pilcro in the letterpress pants these are the high-rise skinny size 26 um so I don't know they say high-rise high but this doesn't look very high-rise to me um but yeah again I'll look like comps and see if it'd be worth my time to list it or not um Let's see, next up, these, oh, these are another pair of pants. I think all these pants, like Anthropology pants, are in the same bin. These are the Essential Slim by Anthropology pants. Um, they're kind of just like workwear pants, though, so I think I'm just, and they're like, they look low rise. I'm just going to take these to the consignment store. Um, and then next, these are some, oh, these are some Armani Exchange pants, size 32. Um, I might just send these to the rear reel and see what happens. Uh, so, yeah, I don't even know if they're real or not, to be honest, because, like, um, I don't know what material they're... I mean, they're just polyester rayon. I don't know. The, it, they don't seem like the best quality, in my opinion. Um, but the last thing I actually got this trip was this bandana for my dog. Um, yeah, because my mom likes putting bandanas on her, and so whenever I find cute ones, I always pick them up. Um but yeah that was the first trip like I said so $19 for all of that stuff and then the second time I went I actually found like a lot of really good stuff and I actually ended up getting over the 35 pounds I forget how much it like it was but when, if you get over 35 pounds they just charge you 55 cents a pound so I think I ended up paying like maybe $22 max for all this stuff. So still a great deal. Um, like normally when like, you know, you shop at this sale, like you're able to find one item that'll like pay for the entire haul. So yeah, that's always good. Um, but another reason why like I went like three times is cause I kind of just wanted to see what's up because like maybe like a year ago or something when I went to the bins, like, like during this sale, I would get like so much good stuff, but it's kind of like gone downhill recently just because you know there's more people and stuff so um yeah but the first thing are these eddie bauer pants um so they're kind of i don't know i don't know i think i might just send these to thread up to be honest um they're a size eight so women so yeah i might just send those to thread up um oh this was so i kind of got this at the beginning when i was like unsure like how much stuff i would find i was like oh i'll just throw it in it's like this i'm not familiar with the brand it's a bernardo um like coat but it's 100 percent leather um and it's really nice so um i don't know it's a size medium maybe i'll look into it and then i think obviously 
Um, I might like, I don't know what I'll do with that if I don't want to sell it myself. Like I could take it to like Buffalo Exchange and like they might want it. I'm not quite sure what they would pay me for it though. Or like, I'm not sure like how much I could price it on uh, thread up for. So to be determined. Uh, next up, this is just a sweater. I'm not familiar with the brand, but um, it's a it's a XXL. Um, so like larger sizes like do well on thread up. Like just doesn't even matter what brand it is. So like I kind of got this to send a thread up. I think just because it's not the season for it. So I'm just gonna throw it in my thread up box. Like if it was like fall winter time, I would probably take it to the consignment store. But um, yeah, they buy based off of season, and I don't want to hold on to that. So yeah, next up, this is just a kids cat and jack dress that I'll be selling like at the kids like pop-up consignment store um but yeah just because like this is just cat and jack is just target so like I don't really want to list it myself first um but this is another kids thing that I'll sell at the sale it's uh again cat and jack it's just like this printed polo shirt um and then let's see this is the 18th and Madison cardigan it's a 2x so I think I'll just send this to thread up I believe um and these were some like new with tags like Cherokee which I believe was like Target right like old Target um but they um they're just some like blue velour like pull on wide leg pants so I actually think I'm gonna take these to Buffalo Exchange just because I feel like it's a style maybe that they would want and like they do tend to buy like all seasons. So um, yeah, we'll see if they want them or not. Um, and then if they don't, I could, you know, just send them to thread up. Um, but this is a Hot Topic sweater and Hot Topic stuff actually does pretty well for me. So not expecting a ton, but I think it'll do fine. Maybe it won't sell fast just because it's not the season. But yeah, next, this is a moth, which is anthropology. It's a nice little lightweight sweater. So I think I will look at comps and see like, I'll look it up too and see how recent of a style this is and then decide if I want to list it or take it to the consignment store. Um, this is a pair of White House Black Market, like it's like old, they're like capris or something, but White House Black Market does well for me on ThreadUp. So I thought I would give these a go. Maybe someone wants them. Um, and let's see next this is a j crew um just like the top i don't know has eyelet detailing it's a xxl so it's cute so i'll list that myself um this is a new with tags like kids dress um the brand is frankie and sue never heard of it but a kids consignment store or like buy sell trade store here tried to sell it for 6.99 or maybe someone bought it and then they just like donated it because they didn't on it but uh yeah I've never heard of that brand I just got it because it was new with tech so I think I'll just sell it at that pop-up consignment store but um thread up also takes kids stuff so I could always like send stuff there or if there's a bunch of like kids buy sell trade stores in the area but next is a Chico's top I do sometimes sell Chico's myself this does not I don't really want to sell this myself I just I don't know so I think I'm just gonna send this to thread up or maybe I'll take it to my um local consignment store um I don't know it's a nice color for like it is like longer like it's long sleeve but it's a nice color for like summertime so maybe they want it they do like chicas um but next this is a exciting find it's a St. John little tank top and I think there was like a stain on it somewhere but I'll see if I can get it out it, it's pretty faint it's like I don't even know if you could see it, but I was excited about this because if you watch my Palm Springs bins haul, I found a skirt, like a St. John Santana knit skirt. And so obviously I got it at the bins, so didn't pay a lot for it, but you could tell it was like a bit shrunk because the lining was longer than like the skirt. Um, but obviously I noted that and it's still sold for, I think $75 plus shipping on eBay. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that skirt. Um, Next up, uh, this is a random graphic tee that I got to first try taking to Buffalo Exchange and then if they don't want it, then Plato's Closet. 
this is a Forever 21 little mini skirt I am going to take to my consignment store. And then this is a Hannah Anderson. I'm sure this was a set, but it's just the top, just this Christmas top. So I'll still, I'll list that myself and I'm sure someone will still want it. Cause you could always just pair those with like red bottoms, you know? And let's see, this is a just Target, a new day. Little blouse I thought was cute that I'm gonna take to the consignment store. Um, next up, this is an Out From Under by Urban Outfitters long sleeve top. Um, I feel like there's a ton of these online. Um, so I'll probably just end up taking that either to Buffalo Exchange or maybe my consignment store um, to be determined. Um, next up, this is a THML little tank top thing. I think we'll go to my local consignment store. I've actually never picked up that brand before. So I don't know, maybe I'll look at comps. This is a Croft and Borrow cardigan. It's a 2X. Um, so it's obviously a cardigan, but like this print is like not super, you know, fall colored. And so my consignment store, they also like plus size. And like I said, I probably get the same amount, whether I sold it on ThreadUp or took it to the consignment store. But I don't know if like they would want this because it's a cardigan. So like at least not right now in the summer. So I might just send that to ThreadUp, but I don't really know. This is an old pair of Zara like pants, but I thought I would like send these to thread up. Zara actually does pretty well for me on thread up. So yeah, we'll see. And next, this is another older item. It's Talbots. This is like an old Talbots tag, but it's this like pink cardigan. So I think I will send that to thread up as well. And then in that same bin as that St. John tank top, there was yet another St. John item. This is like a sleeveless, like mock neck gold top. And this one is actually new with tags. It's St. John Sport. Well, there's like the remnant of a tag and it says $99. So, um, yo, know, it is new with tags, but I think there were like some loose strings and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, uh, yeah, so probably like new with defects I guess on eBay but yeah next up these are a pair of loft just workwear pants in good condition to send over to thread up and I thought these were a cute pair of jeans to sell at that sale um they just have bows on them they're in good condition um they're just from Gymboree and then let's see next up oh this is just like a I don't know if there was originally a shirt under this, but it's from the brand Avenue. It's like this sheer top. And I think I'm going to take this to my local consignment store. Same thing with this piece to my consignment store. It's an express little dress. Um, it is long sleeve, but you know, it's a dress. So I think they'll accept it during this season. Uh, this is a men's like button down shirt and I love taking printed button down shirts to Buffalo Exchange. They love them. This is like a cool, they're like swan floaties. <laughs> it's really cute. So yeah, like I said, all this stuff definitely needs to be washed, but I'm going to do that like tomorrow. Just do like a bunch of loads of laundry. Uh, next are these Chico size four pants. I'm going to be sending to thread up. They're like cropped. So thread up and then these are a pair of cat and jack jeans i will sell at that sale probably um this is a super super soft sweater it's like a turtleneck cowl neck sweater it was at goodwill and they were trying to sell it for 7.99 it's just target knox rose so i think i don't know what i'll do with this normally i would say consignment store but it's not really the season for it so um, I don't know, like, what well, I guess thread up, but yeah, next though, these are some Orvis pants, um, but they have like a weird texture to them. Like, and I don't know if there's, I don't think they're supposed to be like that. I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's like kind of bumps all over it. So I'm kind of confused. And so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, let's see. Next, this is a... 
made by Anthropology um, long sleeve thing. So um, it's pretty basic though, even though it is like newer. So I might just take that to the consignment store. They might want it even though it's long sleeve just because it's Anthropology. Um, this is like a Justice Kids hoodie. I thought I would sell at the consignment store. Like when I was young, Justice was super big. And I know it's expensive, so like, I don't even know if kids still like it, but we'll see. Um, next up, these are some Banana Republic new with tags pants. Since they are new with tags, I might take them to the consignment store because they love like new with tags things. So um, I'll probably try it there first and then if they don't want it, I'll just send them to thread up. This is another Tommy Bahama silk shirt, but this one was at Goodwill for $9.99. Um, it's a nice green color, so good for summer. And let's see, this is a long sleeve shirt. I'm unfamiliar with this brand, but I got it to take to Buffalo Exchange. Um, it's just like a long sleeve shirt. And let's see. This is a O'Neal like cardigan, which is good to like, you know, at like night, cause like at night here, it does get kind of chilly in the summer. So like brands like, you know, O'Neal and like other surf brands, Billabong and stuff, they make a lot of like beachy cardigans and stuff. And this one actually didn't have a size in it. And like cardigans like that are kind of hard for me to estimate sizing. So I think I'm just gonna take that to the um, consignment store. Uh, these are a pair of Levi's uh, men's pants that I think I'm just going to try taking to Buffalo Exchange. And let's see. These are a pair of J. Crew pants. I think I will just send to thread up. They are like an older style. Um, this is another printed button down that I will try first at Buffalo Exchange. Then if they don't want it, I'll take it to Play-Doh's. It is like a tad faded. So I don't really know if they will accept that or not. It also kind of depends on their inventory level, you know. Um, but next up, this was an exciting find. It is the Beyond Yoga Kate Spade collab. Um, so yeah, it's just, a, it's a jacket. It has this bow on it. It is a bit faded, but we'll see. Um, I think someone will still want it. You know, it's a nice quality jacket, super soft and Next up, this is a Jacqueline Smith top. It's a size 2X. And the print is like super nice. I, so I think I'm gonna take this to um, Buffalo Exchange. I think they'll like it. They um, they buy based off of style rather than brand. So it doesn't really matter that, like I've never heard of that brand before. Um, but next up, this is a Daily Ritual, just a t-shirt dress. I will just take to my a consignment store it's like a navy color and this is a pair of kids obermeyer uh snow bib i guess um it does have some spots on it so i'll soak it and see if they come out but i'll list them myself i think again not expecting them to sell like immediately but yeah i, I don't know why i got these it's kind of like I don't know, I saw them and I was like, those are unique and I think someone might want them. But they're like these kids jeans with like this gold embroidery. I just liked it because the embroidery was gold. So I thought it was nice. Um, so yeah, kids consignment store, I guess. Or not consignment store, um, like the pop-up sale. This was an interesting piece that I grabbed. Um, it's kind of like a sweatshirt material and then these sleeves are like... It's kind of like a cold shoulder sleeve and then it has like this like ruffle kind of detail. So I, I got it with Buffalo Exchange in mind, but like, cause they like unique styles, but like, I don't know if they'll accept this. Um, but yeah, this is the brand. It's off, off in studios. Um, so yeah, I don't know <laughs> if they'll want that or not, but um, Next up, this is a pair of Not Your Daughter jeans, size 8 Petite. I will just send these to thread up. Um, they're just like a crop, that's why. Um, but like if, so like when I had all this stuff, like I kind of was like, ooh, it's going to be like close to 35 pounds. But like I didn't really feel like throwing out stuff, you know, like because like it's still like I only paid like I think less than 
I think I paid like $22 for all this. So I just like kept it all in my cart, even though like I'm not even going to be selling it all myself. Um, but this is a kid's Karl Lagerfeld like cardigan thing. So um, I think that's just sold at like, like I know like TJ Maxx, I think, right? So I might just do consignment store on that, but I'll look at comps, I guess. Um, but this is a blue and gray sweat, like turtleneck sweater um that i will be sending to thread up um and then this is an o'neill like sweater but it's like another like beachy style like you know good for nights at the beach so i will be listing that myself um they actually do pretty well for me those brands and then this is what i was like most excited about and honestly i didn't even look it over that well so like there could be holes but if there is it's you know i would have there was like a massive hole i would have noticed it but I didn't notice any massive holes, so I think definitely still sellable. But it's a Pendleton board shirt, size XXL. So 100% wool. It's a nice plaid color. Um, so yeah, like I looked at the retail value, like these retail for like oh, well over 100. And so um, yeah, it's a good size. It's a good like colorway too. It's not like, you know, it was like a weird colorway, like lime green or something. Um, so yeah, that was all. Trip number two, like I said, I'm pretty sure my total came out to like $22 for all that stuff. Um, so yeah, moving on to trip number three. Um, I got like just under 35 pounds, I believe. I think it was like definitely 30 something. So um, yeah, the first thing I got, it's a Woolrich uh, men's like denim jacket. So like the outside is denim, but the inside is like lined with like this material and so I have a shacket it's like a known name brand and so I kind of want this one but we'll see I'll walk because it has some like stains on it so like I'll wash it and see how it looks after and then like maybe I'll keep it or sell it I didn't look at comps because I was like I kind of want it <laughs> so we'll see um like I just leave my shacket in my car and then if it's like if I'm in a situation and I'm cold like I have it um, so yeah, this is actually a pee in the pod. This is like an older tag, but it's a maternity brand. It's just a dress. Um, so yeah, it's, the stuff has done well for me. Um, not like a huge profit, but I'll still sell that myself. And then this is an unbranded sweater, but it's, it has the size in it. It says 26W. Um, and it's just a sweater. And so like plus size stuff, like I said, does well for me on ThreadUp, like no matter the brand. So I think I'll send that to ThreadUp. And even though it'll be listed as like unbranded, I think like it'll still sell. It's like a cute top, like it's pretty basic, but you know, um, this is just an attention like peplum top. It's just in really good condition. I'll send that to ThreadUp. Um, this is a Forever 21 little like um, I mean, I kind of was thinking this could be used as like a beach cover up. So I'm going to take that to my uh, consignment store. Um, let's see. These are a pair of pants. They are from the brand Alfani. Just got these to send over to Thread Up again. Um, and this was like a unique top. It was, it's a size 16. I just Thought I would send it to thread up. I don't know, why not? It was in good condition. Um, and then, oh, this is another like bandana thing I got for my dog or my mom's dog. Um, this is a, right, a Surf Society shirt. It was at Goodwill, but I'm kind of confused because like there's no price on it. Like, so um, I don't know if they tagged it and then never ended up putting it on the floor or what, but um, yeah, it's just this nice printed shirt. So I will be taking that to Buffalo Exchange. Definitely a style that they would want. Um, this is the new with tags blazer from Worthington. Originally $68. So I think I will take this to the my consignment store. They don't really like sell like workwear really, but they really like new with tags things. So I think like I'll take it to them first and then if not, I'll send it to thread up. Um, this is just an H&M sweater, but it was like in good condition. Um, I think I'll just send that to thread up. Um, this was just a nice, like, cocktail dress, I guess. Um, but I'm just gonna send it to thread up. Um, so, yeah, it has, like, just, like, ruffles and 
I don't know, like Thread Up can, can like sell that stuff pretty well just because, you know, the stuff is on a mannequin. So it, it looks nice normally. Um, this is just a thin, lightweight Banana Republic sweater. Um, I'll send that to Thread Up. Um, these are some ASOS cut off like shorts. They're um, just like some, yeah, cut off shorts, like I said, purple color. Definitely will be taking those to Buffalo Exchange. Um, and then this is a Nike graphic tee, just says San Diego. It's a three X. I'll try that at Buffalo Exchange first and then take it to Play-Dohs if they don't want it. And then let's see, next up, this is a pair of J. Crew pants and they're 90% wool. So I think I'll just take send these to uh, Thread Up because like I said, they can sell like the like wool stuff silk stuff, linen stuff really well. Uh, this is a Goodfellow, which is just Target um, men's sweater. So I'll take this to Buffalo Exchange first, see if they want it. And uh, this is another thing that was at Goodwill. It's unbranded, no brand tag, no size tag even, but they tried to sell it for $7.99. And they're just these pants. Um, they're kind of like joggers, but they have like cargo pockets drawstring um but i'm gonna take them to buffalo exchange and see if they want them and this is a pair of pink like sweatpants um they do need to be like sweater shaped but they always clean up like really nice and they're a fast sale for me and this is another thing that's at the goodwill store for $8.99 um, but it's this Liz Claiborne dress and I thought it was such a nice style. Um, but I'm just going to send it to Thread Up because I don't really sell this kind of stuff. It's like vintage, I think, because it has shoulder pads. Um, that's not really my forte. Like, I don't really know anything uh, about vintage clothing and like how to sell it. So yeah, but this is a Chico's Traveler's like older tag, um, little cardigan. Um, it was at Goodwill for $7.99. But it's like be something like good to wear to like a special occasion, like over a dress or something. So I think I'm gonna sell that myself um, just cause the Chico's Travelers line does well. Um, let's see, this is a Banana Republic Merino wool sweater. Um, so yeah, I think I'll try that at Buffalo Exchange. Pretty sure it's men's, so I think they'll like it. And this is the Lucky brand, like long sleeve shirt. You know, I could sell Lucky Brand, not for a lot, but this isn't like a style I think that would sell super fast, um, but it does do well on Thread Up, so I think that'll be the move. Um, and this is just like a little Zara shirt thing that I'm gonna take to my consignment store. They really like Zara. Um, and this is a Daniel Rain top, size medium, at Goodwill for $7.99. And I think I'm gonna send this to Thread Up just cause I don't think it's the season to take it to my consignment store. Um, and then next, these are a pair of Liz Claiborne 48% wool pants. So again, sending over to Thread Up. Um, okay, uh, this is a We The Free, one of the thermals with like the cuffs. So these do like, pretty well like nothing too crazy um but yeah this was so cute I posted it on my story it's this little Patagonia little jacket and like there were some stains so I'll soak it see if it comes out it's 18 month size so yeah next uh this brand so it's a shirt um size medium it's from this brand and I looked it up and it seemed like the shirts the shirts retail for over 100 um, but I didn't look into the resale value, so I'll look into it. And if, you know, I don't even know if they're well known or not. So like, if they are, I'll list it myself. But if not, um, I'll just take it to Buffalo Exchange to get that instant payout, you know? Um, and these are some Anne Klein pants. They're in really good condition. So I will send them to Thread Up. And let's see. This is a BCBG Generation little sweater top but it has like this chiffon at the bottom and bcbg like all of their lines do well on uh thread up so that'll be the move for that and this is a quick silver like graphic tee it is like a bit faded but i might be able to remedy that so 
to be determined um if i can like make it look a bit nicer and then hopefully buffalo exchange will want it um this is a jones studio separates blazer but it was in really good condition so sending that over to thread up and then these are a pair of urban outfitters uh pants like men's pants they have this detailing on the side so those will be taken to buffalo exchange and let's see this is like a turtleneck cowl neck um sweater it's lewin gray um so yes i think thread up again for that and then oh this is an athleta jacket it's pretty faded though but it is like a newer style but i actually think i'm going to be keeping this for myself because I don't have any jackets like I just have some like two hoodies um and then like a quarter zip but I kind of want like a jacket that you can like fully unzip you know so I think I'll like keep this for myself because it's also a size extra extra small which is like hard to sell so yeah I think I'll actually keep that for myself and then the last thing I got again like it's tagged but there's no price on it so like I don't know what happened there but it's a north face like fleece uh, it is like a bit like like it, there's not like there's any like defined stains but the white just isn't as bright as like you know when it was new so I'll try to like soak it and see if I could get it any like wider or something um but yeah that was exciting and so um yeah that was the last thing and you know my third trip and the last thing in this haul so I think like I don't know like th this third trip that I went actually though there was like a ton of people so it was like so hard to like move and stuff like you couldn't even like move your cart you just had to like walk around grab stuff and then like throw it in wherever you parked your little cart so I think like in like in the like coming up I think I am like planning on like going to LA more because like my parents live there and that's where my family is to like go to the outlet there because I prefer that outlet um but I think I will like go here to like this outlet um you know occasionally i think i'm gonna try going to the other sale but that first sale that they have there's like so many people like that's why i hate going so to be determined what i will be doing in the future but hopefully you, you enjoy seeing what i was able to get during these three trips and you can give this video a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already um but thanks so much for watching